Hello again, this is Ryan, and um, I'd like to start out by giving a little background, who I am. Um, and I've got a lot of things I want to cover, uh, being that I was in this cult for, you know, over, over a decade, roughly 12 years. But I just want to let everybody know kind of who I am, what's my background, you know, just to kind of give a little, a little bit of, um, you know, understanding of where I'm coming from. So, you know, right now I, uh, I'm married, uh, I'm about to have a child, um, really in a great season in my life. I mean, I'm very happy, very blessed, very fortunate. Okay. Um, and I, I'm, I'm a private person. Okay. You got to understand I, 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 I have zero presence online, all right? You, you're not gonna find me. And I like it that way, I really do. So I, I just wanna kinda paint the picture of why I'm doing this. Why am I making these videos? Why do I appreciate Paul's videos and all the others that have spoken out? Um, I, you know, think about the first video that I did online, on YouTube. I, I don't do any, I don't ever do this. I do listen on YouTube. It's, it's, it's great that you can find a lot of good stuff. But like, like, like Paul's videos, awesome. But what my first video I gave was confessing that I had been in a cult for over a decade, roughly 12 years. So consider like, that's really embarrassing. First of all, okay. It's it's not something I'm proud of, um, you know. It's not something that I took in one day. Oh, I just realized I was in a cult. That's interesting. I guess I'm just going to move on with my life now. It, it took a long time. It took years to to awaken to the stupor that I had been in. Okay, and so. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not doing this for the two reasons they like to say, this group, the Lord's Recovery, the local churches, and if you've been a part of them, you know. Um, they like to say people leave because mainly of two things. They have ambition. They, they want to be something in the group. They want to get the position of an elder or whatever. Or they were offended. And so, like, somebody wronged them somehow. And in my case... Neither of those are true at all, okay? None. I have I have no reason to give these videos at all except that I realized I was in a demonic cult and I want to help people, not waste 10, 12, 20, 40, their entire life following a Jesus that is not in the Bible. Not, not, not the Jesus of the Bible, of the scriptures. Okay, it's a different Jesus, okay? So I just wanna give you a little perspective, you know, in that I'm not, I, I don't feel, I'm not upset with people in this group. They're just deceived like I was, okay? Greatly deceived, all right? Um, so I'm, I'm not upset. I definitely don't wanna be, uh, you know, or had any ambitions to be anything in this group. I'm just a normal guy who wants to know my God and wants to know the truth, okay? Wants to please the Lord, all right? Like all of you do, okay? And in that, in that search, searching, in that seeking, we can get deceived, okay? I, I was, absolutely, a thousand percent. I was so deceived, you can't even imagine. So, just to give you a little understanding, I'm not this. I'm not some. I'm not really proud of, you know, all of that. But that's just what it is. So, um, a little more um, about my background. Um, I've got some notes here to kind of keep you on track, so it helps. Um, like I said, I, I'm in a great season in my life. I mean, you can't imagine. The last few years have been such a blessing. Such a blessing. I am so thankful, so happy uh, of what God has done in my life. I mean, I've realized since I've came out of this group, 
I realized what it's like to be under the blessing of God. <laughs> and it's awesome. I would encourage everybody to get there. Um, and it starts by getting out of cults. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just say that much. It, it's fantastic. All right. So, um, and that's something they will tell you the complete opposite. They'll say, if you leave this group, you're going to go down. You're going to be in death. You're going to, you know, just, it's going to be terrible, you know. And it's been the exact opposite for me. Okay. And I, my understanding, talking to other people, it's, that's kind of how it is. Okay. Um, it's fantastic. Actually, imagine that getting out of a demonic cult is fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm learning who God is now, the real God of the Bible. I mean, it's awesome. Um, so anyhow, it, it, it's, it's wonderful. So, uh, I, I just, I, I, to me, I'm kind of indebted. I mean, I was in this cult spouting lies, I mean, you know, I, I, and believing lies and, and parroting lies for 10, 12 years, you know? So, I, and I've been greatly helped by others, and so I want to help other people out. That's my thing. Um, now, I like what Paul's, uh, another another guest Paul had, he said, being in this group this cult is a crucible. And I agree 100%. It, it is. And you don't realize it until you're out of the fog, out of the group, and you're away from it. And you're not going to 10 meetings a week or whatever. And and you're not in that wicked ministry. Um, Man, you, you you don't realize the burdens that you were able to get off of you and just get out of the fog and start seeing things clearly. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, and like in my last video, I, 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 I did that video before I had spoken to some other people. I recorded that. And I, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I want to talk to some people that I'm close to in this group before I, you know, put this out in the open to the world, basically. And in doing that, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. If you're in this group or you're, you're kind of on the fence or you're not, you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to find the truth. You have to be careful in speaking to leaders in this group. Anybody with any kind of leadership or who has been there for a long time, they are what I was, okay? And that's what I like to call a Lebot, okay? That's, it's it's somebody, a Lebot is somebody who follows Witness Lee, right? <laughs> and they've had this these lies hardwired into their brain, okay? And they are just programmed. I mean, it was my dream, guys. It was my dream that if anything came up spiritual or if there's any opportunity that I had to minister or help someone out in knowing God, I wanted to have footnotes from the recovery version memorized and I could just spout them off. Just, that's what we're talking about here. Like, I wanted to have the ministry, which by the way, they call it the ministry, the ministry. Little red flag there, the ministry, yeah. Anyway. That was my dream. I was a Lebot. I was a hardcore Lebot. I was not a passive member of this cult, okay? I was all in, okay? From the very beginning, I was deceived and duped hardcore. Now, and I wanna, I wanna touch on this too. They prey on the young and naive Christian, okay? That's the main target, all right? Some, you might get some, you know, worldly unbelievers come in, that's not the most, okay? It's going to be people like myself, like a lot of the other testimonies you have on these, this channel, Paul's channel, um, young, naive, sorry, college age. They're not, to, they call themselves the, the move of God on the earth. But if that were true, if they were really ministering the real spirit, you, you know, you would have people coming into the group who were really close to the Lord, okay? The mature Christian, the Christian who's been following the Lord a long time, who know the scriptures, 
who know the Holy Spirit, you would have these members coming in contact with the Lord's recovery, the local churches, and they'd be like, wow, this is great. This, But that's not the case. And that's not who they prey on, okay? They prey on the young, naive, inexperienced Christian, okay? That's the main target, okay? At college campuses, like Paul has discussed, all right? Um, and the reason being, I mean, in my experience, I was raised in a Christian home, very fortunate, very blessed, many blessings there. But I just have to say, and you, you got to go back to Paul's videos, when he talks about the homeless Christian and the situation amongst the church today, you know, Christianity and the situation, it's very confusing. In my opinion, there's a lot of leaven out there, a lot of um, it, 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 it's a, it's a barren landscape. In my opinion, it's, it's very difficult to find solid, good doctrine, good teaching, good, healthy, healthy teaching that will help you grow in your faith in a healthy way. That is the truth, the whole truth and nothing, nothing but the truth. Right. Um, so anyhow, that was my experience in college. I, I found my faith was very weak. Um, I was doing everything that I could in the Christianity experience I was raised in, right? In, 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 in the certain pastors and everything I, I grew up in. I was doing everything I could, but I found my faith was very lacking. Okay, and I was, I was in sin. And I'm like, what's going on? I'm doing everything I can here. I'm trying to please God. But this is not working out. So I was in a very low state. And I, I'll go over the scriptures later. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the word, okay? To, to, to touch on... Um, where this all relates in our experience and how we can be equipped to, to not fall prey to this, which I, di I did. I was not equipped. Um, I fell prey. So, um, yeah, I fell prey hard. I mean, I, I, I was so deep, so quick in this group. Um, anyhow, I, I thought that was a good thing, obviously, but uh, but it wasn't. And so, yeah, they prey on the inexperienced ones. Remember that. that that's really key. And, and it's opposite of your concept if they're really God's move on the earth. Okay. It, it, sorry. They're not. It's a cult. It's a demonic cult. It's wicked. Okay. Um, so, um, eventually, I personally just realized something. I had to be honest with myself. We all need to be honest with ourselves. And... Before I met this group, I realized something was way off that um, that it wasn't um, I, I wasn't getting that much help with the uh, maybe the pastors or the the experience I had amongst in the Christian uh, scene I was in. Um, so that's why I fell prey to this group because they will capitalize on the problems amongst uh, Christians in general the church in general. It's, it's kind of a mess. And they capitalize that. And that's where they come in, they swoop in, and they get gather up these, these young, naive Christians and dupe them. They never talk to them about Witness Lee, of course. It's deceptive, like Paul has said. They don't mention Witness Lee, uh, like they read Witness Lee all the time. It, it, and it's, it's just, it's, it's wrong. So um, just a few things before I let you go, and I'll come back later. Uh, to discuss more of this stuff in detail. Um, sorry, I want to I want to get more videos out, but it, it, it's just hard for me. These things, I'm I'm, I'm new to this. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, go with your first gut instinct, guys. And that seems uh, strange, but you know when you meet with the group and they start praying and chanting, Lord, you you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you have any contact with the group. You go to a home meeting, when you come across a group like this, and they're trying to be more deceptive, they're trying not to show that, right? But when you meet these, quote, Christians who who um, who are just weird, and there's something in you, you don't know what it is, you need to follow that. You need to follow that instinct. I did not follow that whatsoever. I just, I didn't care, you know? Um and I suffered because of it. So you have to do investigating. Um, yeah, you, you've got a question. You've got to use your mind. I'm just thinking right now off the top of my head, they have a song, get out of your mind, get your spirit in gear. You know, it's like, don't ever get out of your mind. 
I mean, this is so basic and fundamental and elementary, it's embarrassing. I mean, get out of your mind. That's like somebody, hey, that guy's crazy. He's out of his mind. You know what I mean? It's like, yet they're teaching people to get out of their mind. I mean, no, no, don't ever do that. You know? <laughs> anyway, some of this stuff is just so basic. You know, if, if you're told in the beginning, uh, it really helps. But once you get duped by these teachings, it can really mess you up because they're so nice. They're so nice, like I said. They're so they're nice people. They're nice people. They'll feed you. They'll you know they'll do so many things for you. So that that's a hard thing to discern. But anyway, um, I just want to leave you with a couple verses. Okay, a few verses. Uh, Beware of false prophets. Okay, which come to you in sheep's clothing. All right, they they look great on the outside, very nice. Oh, they're a sheep. Okay. But inwardly, they were ravening wolves, okay? You sh ye shall know them by their fruits, okay? The Lord said, we can know. We can know, okay? Ye shall know them by their fruits. And I had to realize in my life, okay, I, I went to all the meetings, man, and I'll get into that. I'll tell you, I was die hard in this group. I went to the training. I was fully in. I was not a, on the back row just whatever kind of thing. I was in it, okay? I was intense. I was a full-on Libot, hardwired, programmed, ready to go and spread witnessly all over the place, you know? Because obviously you think this is God's move. This is God's speaking. This is God's ministry. It all came through this man. This man filtered everything for us. And now it's all right there and it's amazing. And, you know, I, I was there, I was there. And it's really frustrating. I've talked to some of the group, some of the members. I, I think I was saying this earlier, sorry. I, I was talking to some of these members and the leaders are, are, are hardwired. You're not going to break through there. I mean, you're not, um, good luck. I, I would just recommend don't let them be. The Lord says, um, uh, just let them be. I mean, he, he was talking to his disciples when he, when he was talking about the Pharisees, he said, the blind leaders of the blind, he said, let them be, let them be, let them be. So you might be able to break through with some that are on the peripheral because there are levels. I was talking to another guy that had left the group and he said, yeah, Ryan, there's levels and there's certain ones that, I mean, God is able it, through his mercy. I, I thought I, I never could get out, but there's certain ones that they're so far gone, you can tell them, and I did, I had a conversation not a couple weeks ago, and you can tell them so many things that are blatantly off, and they will just explain, they have an ex explanation or an answer to everything. It's incredible. So you got to beware about that, okay? Um, but yeah, beware. You shall know them by their fruit. I had to recognize the fruit of what I was in for 12 years. In my life, I was full of pride, okay? I was angry because, I, I mean, it it was, there was no peace. I mean, ang anxiety was all over the place. It was just horrible. I had to be honest. I was just like, God, what is going on here? I mean, this is a mess. This is a wreck. This is an absolute disaster and I'm doing it all. I'm calling on the Lord all the time. I'm doing the chanting they do. I'm pray reading every day. I'm reading the morning revival. I'm reading the life studies. I'm reading the, the recovery version with footnotes. I'm, I'm doing, I'm going to the home meetings. I'm going to the conferences. I went to the training. I, I did it all and I had to recognize this is a complete disaster. Well, when it's a demonic cult, that's what happens, okay? <laughs> so this was all, I, I didn't have an offense. I wasn't trying to be, have a position. I told myself I could never be a full-time, full-timer is what they call them. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. For some reason, I just never could do it. They, they really push you to do that when you're at the training, you know, when you're graduating from the training. They want full-time leaders and they spin it and they try to say, oh, give your life to the Lord, which you know, it's fun to be, give your life to be a parent 
you know, someone parroting Witness Lee everywhere and spreading the ministry and the recovery all over the earth um, because they think that they're going to bring the Lord back. Okay, which brings me to another verse. So one moment. Um, you shall know them by their fruit. So I had to, I had to recognize I, it, it was off. It was way off. And we all need to do that. The people in this group, you need to do that. You need to do a, a thorough examination. You need to pray honestly. You need to get the heck out of this group is what you need to do. Um, and I've had people tell me, well, you know, don't, just just don't warn people about this. Let the Lord take care of it. And it's like, yeah, I don't think so. That I, If somebody's about to jump off a cliff, I'm not going to just let them figure it out. Oh, maybe the Lord will take care of it. I'm going to tell them, don't do that. Don't do, that's not good. And if somebody is, Meeting with a cult, I'm going to say, no, don't meet with the cult. Don't, don't get into, in, involved in demonic teachings. And I'll get into this stuff, okay? I will, I will. Um, another one. Um, this, one, this one really is a theme verse for me, kind of, with this group. It really hit me, okay? And, and you know what? You don't have to agree with this. I'm just giving you something to consider. Consider it. Think about it. Think about all this stuff. All the things I'm saying, just think. Why is this guy doing this? What's he talking about? You know, think about your experience with the, you know, th just think about it. You know, that's the opposite of what they'll tell you to do. They'll say, get out of your mind, get into your spirit. Don't do that. Okay. Um, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, in the gospels, there's these verses. Okay. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. All right. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Okay, that's from Matthew. Uh, Mark, same thing. Jesus answering them began saying, take heed lest any man deceive you for many shall come in my name um, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And then, and then uh, Luke, uh, Luke has a good one. I like this. And he said, take heed that ye be not deceived for many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Okay. The key here is you've got somebody coming in the name of Jesus, right? There, Jesus, Jesus has sent them. I come in the name of Jesus. That's what they're saying, right? But he's saying, they say, I am Christ. I, this always confused me because I'm like, wait, what? They're not coming saying, hey, I'm Jesus Christ. Follow me. Yeah, it's me. I know. I look different. Um, I'm just, you know, whatever. But it's really Jesus Christ. Follow me. That's not, that's not what it's saying, okay? They're coming in Jesus' name saying, and they have that title of Christ. That is like minister of the age is what that is, okay? And just consider. Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe, maybe you don't agree with this. But consider. This guy, by all these people that follow him, and by him himself, he, he claimed it. He's the minister of the age, okay? How, are you kidding me? Where is that in the Bible? He is the minister of the age. The, he is the one, okay? And I believed this. I believed this. He is the one, the go-between. If you want to know God, you want to know God's ministry, you, know, you want to know the interpretation of the Bible, you have to go through this man. What this man says is the ministry. He becomes the Christ, Okay? And of course, everybody in the group will say, oh no, the Lord is my head. No, he's not. Everything that comes from the Lord has to flow through this man, okay? It has to flow through Witness Lee. And they'll say, oh no, but it, you know, it wasn't from Witness Lee. See, he, he took some things from Andrew Murray over here and he, he took justification by faith from Martin Luther over here and he just saw it all. And it's like, listen, the bottom line is, Everything that these Lee bots believe and that I believed flowed through this man, okay? And they deceive you. They don't say that up front, okay? They don't come to you and say, oh, by the way, we fought. We, everything that I believe comes through Witness Lee. That is not what they say because people would not join their group. They have to hook you, and we'll talk about this later. They hook you with certain doctrines. The enjoy the Lord doctrine they have hooks. Okay. That's, that's the one that gets you in there. Okay. And if you give into that and I'll get into it later, that's, that's a different spirit, my friend. That's a different spirit. Okay. 
Anyway, I'll, it's getting to be a long video. I'll let it go. But I just want to tell you that that is what we're talking about here. We're talking about a man who professed to be the minister of the age, wherever that is. Everything these people believe is filtered by what this guy said is the truth. Okay. All right, I'm going to cut the video here. I think it's best to try to keep it shorter. Sorry for going for so long on this one. Um, but in the future, I'll try to make them shorter. Uh, just keep it on one topic. But I just had to kind of lay the, the, the foundation here, the framework, who I am, why I'm doing this. I uh, hope you got the basics, though, uh, just how dangerous this group is. And just, uh, yeah, we need to be aware. And I'm so thankful for uh, the opportunity to share. So God bless you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.